Go on, Lake Hickory Scuba this Brian. Yes, sir. You said it's at your dock? Okay. Yep, one of us coming right over. Thank you. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now it's kind of a cold morning. We got a cold snap to come in, but I wanna show you something really quick. Look out here and I've showed you this area plenty of times before, but this is the sandbar area. It's not the sandbar on the lake, but it's the sandbar area that we've got. It's our point here at the marina. And you saw this in the video where I'd walked all the way out there and then of course it flooded us and all that. But there's supposed to be four buoys out there, and there's actually only three. And we just received a call from one of our neighbors over here in one of these coves that our buoy has broke free, and it's actually came back upstream, ironically, and went into the cove, and it's wedged up against his dock. So we're going to go run out here and jump on the boat, run pick, our, pick up our buoy, and then see if we can get it placed back in the water. If we can, that's what we're going to knock out today. If not, then of course we're going to have to call wildlife to get us a new buoy to come out here and mark a hazard area. So that being said, let's run jump on the boat. Let's get the boat dropped here. All right, let's jump on. back here in the cove area so we'll see Now the question is is how am I going to get it in here because I don't know how close I can get. Let's see. There's the buoy. Question is, how do I get it into the boat? Oh, she's a little heavy. Let's look at the bottom of it really quick. See if it's still usable. Nope. See there, where the chain was connected, it's broke off. So this buoy's not gonna be good for anything. 
I'll have to call Wala and get him to bring us a new buoy. Uh. Nice. Building their dock over there. Nice, beautiful, sunny day. It's cold. We got a cold snap going on right now. But a nice, beautiful day. There's nobody out. Wind's a little high. That's okay. We can compensate for that. That's what this steering wheel here is for. It's beautiful. Maybe we'll get it the first time here. All right, let's get her straightened up a little bit. Get her raised up and get her straightened up a little bit. All right there. And watch her come up. So if you're curious how this pump actually works, this is a vacuum pump. Right now what it's doing, it's reversed and it's pumping air inside the lift ballast tanks, if you will. It's pumping air in there and pumping water out. It's just like our lift bags does for salvage. However, whenever we go to lower it, this pump becomes a vacuum instead of a pump and it sucks out all the air that fills it up with water, hence letting it sink. That's kind of how the vacuum pump works. All right, so this thing's gonna be up on the lift, but we're still gonna tie it off. I'm gonna give it plenty of play here. Same thing with this one. Give it plenty of play in the water. Just like that. As soon as that thing is full of air, there ain't no more water, you'll start seeing it bubble out here on the edge. Well, let's me know I can cut the pump off. We're going any second now. Yep, there we go. We are full. Can cut the pump off. Switch over to hold. And that job is done. 
All right, guys, that job's done. It's super easy. I just had to go pick up that buoy really quick. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reuse it. I'm not going to be able to put it back in the water because the little hook that's on the bottom, little metal hook, is uh, just rusted through, and we're not going to be able to put a cable or a chain or anything like that on it. Um, and then, of course, even if we were, we would have to find some type of anchor system to anchor it up out there. Um, this happens actually pretty regularly. Usually once or twice a year, we'll lose one of these buoys. And the buoys are not technically ours. They are wildlife's, but they do mark our property. And I'll give you a, a quick little history lesson in the lake. When the power company come in, bought all the property, my ancestors said, nope, you ain't buying my property. So we're one of the only facilities slash properties on the lake that actually owns the land underneath the water. And so it's kind of our responsibility, if you will, to mark the danger zone. And this point that you guys saw me walk out on several videos back, it's kind of our responsibility to mark that. However, we don't have to fund that, meaning we don't have to buy the buoys. We don't have to physically do it. Even though a lot of times when they break free, we do it because it's super easy for us to do. We can drop a new uh, anchor system on it. We can get it placed up while diving. But that's actually wildlife's responsibility. So I'm gonna have to give North Carolina Wildlife a call, get them to come out here. We are in springtime, fixing to hit summer. And of course, they're gonna have to get out here and get us a new buoy so nobody damages their boat. Now I will state this, you see this buoy right here? Boom, right there. So that was one that broke free last winter. And kind of the same scenario on it, there's no way to place it back because the bottom of it, um, the metal hook there, is uh, rusted through but i'm gonna get this one out of the water too i've actually got several of these at my house or at my house that has broke free over the years that's really not good for nothing anymore other than yard or ornaments or you know sometimes we use them for target practice we can shoot at them stuff like that but um yeah so i'll be taking this one out the one i just got today in this video out i'll be adding to the ones i've got at the house and then who knows might build a project out of it let me know down in the comment section below what you would do with these buoys would you make yard ornaments out of them would you mark stuff with them would you use them for target practice what would you use these buoys for because they're really not fit to be in the water anymore and of course wildlife ain't going to do nothing with them and we definitely don't want to fill up our landfills with them so let me know down in the comment section below what would you do with these buoys but guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do want you to stay tuned. I know we just did the SSI Boat Diver series, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I know there's a lot of people that think the Boat Diver course is not a good course to take, that it's just not, you know, educational enough. There's a lot of people out there that don't know a lot about boats. And as a matter of fact, we believe so much in to boater education, diver education. We're gonna do several videos coming up very soon on boater education. We're gonna not only teach you how to back a trailer in the water, we're gonna teach you how to unload your boat, load your boat. We're gonna teach you how to operate your boat. We've got several different ones here that belong to us and we're gonna be operating a lot of them. We're gonna show you the procedures to crank a boat and how to maneuver the boat in the water. We're gonna talk about the right of way. We're gonna talk about everything that you would typically learn in a boater education course. Way back when, we even taught you how to tie up a boat. We're gonna re, um, you know, revisit that and just to give you guys some more information on boater safety so that you can be safe and efficient when you're out there on the water. Uh, we're even going to talk about the laws. And so we'll kind of explain what you can and can't do, especially here on our lake. Now, different states may differ. Out in the ocean, it may differ. But we're going to be talking about that too. And we really think those videos are going to be great for you guys. And we hope our goal here is to make you guys better educated. Even if you watch our channel and you're not a diver, or if you've got a friend that's not a diver that wants to learn more about boats, those videos will be for them too. So we're gonna be showing you all that as well. And of course, I will give you a tour of our tow boat as well. I know a lot of guys have been asking about that. I'm gonna give you a tour of that. I've got plans to also do a tour of our salvage trailer. I know a lot of people have been asking about salvage here lately. You know, as far as what type of equipment you gotta have and all that. I'm gonna to be touring it as well, but we've got a ton of videos coming out. We've got a ton of videos in the uh, in the system to actually get produced and get out there. But like I said, guys, we're in springtime now and it don't look like I got a hoodie on. We had a really bad cold snap today, but we do got a ton of videos coming out. We want you guys to learn from them. Just, it's gonna take a little bit of time because summer's right around the corner. And of course, we are going too busy 
very busy out here on the lake but that's going to do it for today guys i got some admin stuff i got to get finished up and then i got classes i'm teaching tonight so i'm going to jump in here but i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it if you got any questions on boats or diving or water in general just drop me a comment down below and i'll try to answer it the best i can but that's going to do it for today take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video